Okay, let's bring it all home by meeting goal three, creating a collection and display page within the Google site we've been building uh, with the help of Awesome Table. Awesome Table is fantastic. It's a, it's a cool way to, to, to display data in a, in a more functional way than, than just a traditional spreadsheet. So here's how we'll get started. Under my action steps, I now have step three. And again, just like in the previous video, I have a placeholder for this video that I'm currently creating. There's going to be one video here uh, that'll show you how to make the awesome table, how to display it on, an, on a page on your website. And then later on, I'm going to add a second video below that uh, that shows what a student, how a student might interact with, with the system you're creating through completing this step. So let's get to awesome table. I've added a couple of links here. Either one will take you there. When you log into awesome table, um, be sure to log in with your Google account, the same Google account that owns the spreadsheet that we created in the last video. All right, it looks like I logged in and I wanna double check. The account I'm logged in is my school account and the account that owns this spreadsheet is my school account. It looks like we're good. I have a, a few other awesome tables that I've been using that I've, that I've created. Uh, it's a really fun tool. Uh, you can read more about it later on your own, but this is uh, like an intro, a simple intro. I'll get started by clicking on blank. I want to select the data source, so I'm selecting a spreadsheet. And Google does a nice job of uh, listing the most recent edited items first, and I want this spreadsheet, the one that I just made, uh, in the previous step. I'll click select and I've selected that and now I need to select which sheet. I don't want the responses. I want the query sheet and awesome table display sheet, that second sheet. And automatically it's going to find the range that has information in it right now, A1 through R, and that's what I want. A1 all the way through the R column are because I'm going to have stuff here. I had that formula here and that should be enough. Later on, like I said in the previous video, if you want to extend this uh, further by following this pattern and have uh, collect more than six links, you can just be sure in your awesome table to, to change the range. So I'm going to click create and it's forming this view. Uh, notice I've got this last name about me collection system and these other ones are just the generic headings. I've got this period drop down as people start responding and putting in numbers here. I'll be able to filter. I'll be able to search by a student's last name here. Um, right now it's going to display 15 items. I can I can change the configuration of the view a little bit here. Let's say I wanted to display uh, 40 at a time just so I can get everybody in a class. I'll click update view and now there are just more rows available. All right, but that doesn't do me much good. It's over here. How do I get it on my web page? Well, first I need to create a page for it. Let's go to a new page. Let's click on the plus page icon and we'll call this one digital portfolio curation. I've seen digital portfolios on display. I'm going to click done. And it looks like it created it as a, as a sub page for this action steps. See how I've got action steps and now it's down here. Uh, I don't want it there. I want it to be uh, its own little heading. So I'm just going to click and drag this out of there so that it's its own item up here, digital portfolio cur curation. And I can embed this right on my page. It's really cool. I click on the share icon and they have this little help tool for using um, Awesome Table on a Google site. However, it works with the classic Google sites, not with the new Google site. All you really need is this link to share, this view link, not the edit one, the view link. I'm copying that. Come back here, double click, and I want to insert a URL. Click there, paste my URL. It's going to load 
my awesome table view. Insert. And there we go. Just like other things with Google, I'm going to drag this so that it takes up the entire width. All right, but how are students going to add to this spreadsheet in order for this view to be updated? We need to give them a link to our form. So I'm going to click on the send button to get the link. Click on this chain link button and copy that URL. I need a text box, and actually I want this text box to be above. And in nice large text, I can say, click here to add your links to the awesome table below. Paste view form. I'm going to delete this extra stuff and just have view form apply and publish. There we go. Now, when I come back to my page and refresh, I click on digital portfolio curation. 